In recent days, Blue Origin's controversial lawsuit with NASA over the human landing system project still attracts a lot of attention from space fans. Many people believe that Jeff Bezos will never accept a loss to SpaceX on this project. He will be determined to take the best part of the pie in his own hands. While the competition shows no signs of ending, recently there are first images of a new program that Blue Origin is determined to launch to beat Elon Musk and SpaceX. So what stands out about that project? Will it be able to compete with SpaceX? And what is Elon Musk's reaction? Everything will be exposed in today's episode. First of all, let's find out with Great SpaceX what Blue Origin's new project is. Based on our recent research, Jeff Bezos' space exploration company will be launching Project Jarvis, which aims to design fully reusable rockets. In making both the first and second stages of New Glenn fully reusable, Bezos is emulating Musk's ambitious plan to land and reuse both the Super Heavy Booster and Starship Upper Stage. In fact, rumors of this plan have been circulating for months before, when social media sites reported that Blue Origin was changing the primary structural material of its new rocket from an aluminum alloy to stainless steel. The social media posts sparked considerable interest, as they implied that the company would mimic a competitor in its choice of materials. SpaceX's Starship and Super Heavy are made primarily from stainless steel. Moreover, such a change also augured further delays in the New Glenn development program, which was already years behind schedule. However, this rumor was disproved in light of new information. Blue Origin has started working on a project to develop a fully reusable upper stage for New Glenn, which may potentially use stainless steel propellant tanks. The next question we want to pose is, what is the goal of Blue Origin's Project Jarvis? Although Blue Origin has not publicly discussed this effort to build a reusable upper stage for the New Glenn rocket, sources said the company's primary goal is to bring down the overall launch cost of the New Glenn rocket. The vehicle's large upper stage, which has a 7 meter diameter and two BE-3U engines, is costly. Making New Glenn fully reusable is necessary for Blue Origin to compete with SpaceX's Starship launch system. Project Jarvis encompasses the tank program, which is intended to rapidly prototype a propellant tank to withstand the rigors of multiple launches and re-entries. The company's engineers are studying the use of stainless steel as a material for these tanks. Apparently, the reason for the material shift is because Jeff Bezos wants to lower the launch cost of New Glenn. This benefit has been clearly demonstrated by SpaceX. This is the difference between taking a profit and a loss on New Glenn launches, said one industry source familiar with the reusable upper stage plan. So when did the plan for the Jarvis project appear? When Musk formally announced the Starship project in 2016, then referred to as ITS or Interplanetary Transport System, many in the industry were skeptical of his plan to build a massive reusable launch system. They remained dubious in early 2019 after Musk announced a switch from carbon fiber to low-cost stainless steel for the rocket's primary structure. Although stainless steel is cheaper and better able to withstand atmospheric heating during re-entry, it is about five times heavier than composites. Bezos had been asking his senior staffers about reusable upper stages, but advisors told him such an approach was unlikely to work. Bezos also seems to have been told the SpaceX fail-forward method of rapid prototyping and testing starships with few processes and procedures would be unlikely to succeed. However, over the last year, Bezos took note as SpaceX launched and landed its Starship vehicle. This is one of the reasons he decided to initiate a project named Jarvis at Blue Origin within the reusable second stage program. How is the Jarvis project progressing now? In an effort to move quickly and test whether SpaceX's iterative design philosophy can be mimicked, Blue Origin founder Jeff Bezos has empowered the engineers leading Project Jarvis to innovate in an environment unfettered by rigorous management and paperwork processes. This has led to rapid development. And on Tuesday, Blue Origin used a modular transport to roll its first stainless steel test tank to launch Complex 36 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. This tank is part of the company's efforts. 
At the same time, another team has been studying three different approaches for the design of a re-entry vehicle. One is to fit the upper stage with large wings so that it would look and function something like a space plane, separating from the first stage, delivering its payload, and then returning to a runway. In the past, Bezos has expressed doubts about wings. Some people like wings, he told Ars during a factory tour in 2016. Some people like parachutes. None of these are bad, the reason I like vertical landing is because it scales so well. With wings, they scale pretty well to a certain size, but they end up being a lot of dead weight to carry. The second approach involves using an aerospike engine that would double as a heat shield during re-entry through Earth's atmosphere. This approach has promise, but it would likely necessitate the design and construction of a new engine, which would be an expensive and time-consuming process. The final approach is similar to SpaceX's Starship concept, land the vehicle vertically using a combination of flaps and propulsive burns. This appears to be the leading contender among the three approaches, and Blue Origin is expected to make a final decision before the end of this year. Regardless of the final design, the propellant tanks for each of the three designs would be cylindrical, allowing the Project Jarvis team to move ahead with its development program. Sources indicated that the construction of this test tank has proceeded much more rapidly than other programs at Blue Origin, which may validate Bezos' experiment with rapid iterative development. And now we come to the last bit of today's episode. What is Elon Musk's reaction to Blue Origin's project? On Twitter, the SpaceX CEO saw a screenshot from a Reddit post where it shows a photo of Blue Origin's Project Jarvis with the caption, Hey Elon, can I copy your homework? Here, the multi-CEO billionaire has only replied with two rolling on the floor laughing emojis, but did not discuss his reaction with tweets or words. This suggests that Musk agrees with the copying thing, but is not something that he bears in mind or made a big deal out of, as it would be a hard venture for Blue Origin. It's known that Musk and SpaceX's vertical landing venture with the Starship took a lot of tries and explosions before SN15 finally made it work earlier this year. So if Blue Origin wants to succeed with this Jarvis project, they will face a lot of difficulties. Furthermore, Musk has shown that he respects anything in the name of science, as he wishes competitors well and sometimes even gives them advice on what to improve. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. If you like what my team and I are doing and would like to help assist us directly, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Don't forget to share your ideas in the comments below so we know where to improve upon. Everyone's support will be the motivation for us to create more quality content. Otherwise, thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to hit the bell so you never miss out on future episodes. This is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and I'll see you next time.